Hey everyone, this is Deacon Frank, and welcome to my luxurious recording studio. This video is to talk about the Liturgy of the Hours. So let's get right to it. If you've ever seen a movie where groups of monks file into a chapel, and then they start chanting it at each other from opposite sides of the chapel, most likely they are praying the Liturgy of the Hours. And the fact that this is used in movies um, to sort of mark time, if you will, or the time period, I think really gets to the idea of how long this form of prayer has been around. In fact, it has roots in our Jewish heritage. Psalm 55 says, Evening, morning, and afternoon do I pray and cry, and he will hear my voice. The book of Daniel refers to the prophets praying three times a day, facing Jerusalem during the Babylonian exile. Both of these examples get to the idea of praying at the same time each day. In the New Testament, well, we know that Jesus, as an observant Jew, he would have prayed the Psalms, and he would have also prayed what's known as the Hours of Praise. The Acts of the Apostles refer to Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. So again, we see this hour, this, excuse me, this idea of praying at the same times each day. Now, after biblical times, various uh, monastic communities kept up the practice of praying the Psalms. In fact, in some communities, they would pray all 150 psalms each day. I think that's a little much, maybe, for you and I. What some of these communities did is they changed the prayer over time so that they would do some of the psalms each day. And maybe over the course of a week or a month, that would mean they would end up praying all of the psalms. In the 6th century, St. Benedict, he really gave us the form of the prayer sort of as we see it today. He named it the Divine Office. He also gave names to the various hours of the day of this prayer, like Lauds for morning prayer and Vespers for evening prayer. In the early Middle Ages, when the church bells would ring to call in the priests and the monks to pray, it's often the case the laity would follow them, follow them in to listen, because for the most part at this point there really wasn't daily Mass. But this was the way that every day you could have a form of public prayer. In the Middle Ages, now these prayers are gathered up into a small book known as a breviary. And then as printing presses became more available, the prayer became more available. If we zoom ahead to the Second Vatican Council, they renamed this prayer from divine office to the Liturgy of the Hours. And this new name was to, to indicate what this prayer was meant to do to sanctify the hours of the day in a public way. The structure of the prayer is very straightforward. There's an introduction. If it's the first hour of the day that you're praying, you will also say then an invitatory. There's a song. There's three psalms. These psalms are recited by alternating sides of the church. So one side will say one paragraph, the other side will say the next paragraph, and you alternate in that way. There's a reading, there's a responsory, there's a canticle, there's intercessions, much like you'd have at Mass, there's the Lord's Prayer, a closing prayer, and then a conclusion or a blessing, depending on who is leading the prayer. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this prayer, the simplest, easiest way to do this is to type in iBrevery into your favorite internet search engine. That's I B R E. V-I-A-R-Y, just all one word. You'll get to their website. You'll find out about their app. It, pro it provides you with the text of the prayer for the specific day that you enter and the specific hour. You can also get, as I mentioned, a breviary, a book of prayer, the hard copy, if you will. Um, it comes either in a one-volume version or a four-volume version, and it's known as the Book of Christian Prayer. Some monastic orders still have their own books, um, but for most of us, we would use either iBrevery or the Book of Christian Prayer. They both contain the same text. Now, we are all called to pray this prayer and encouraged to pray this prayer. Deacons and priests, as part of their ordination, they promised that they would pray this prayer every day. Um, other orders also have this as a regular part of their prayer practice, but the laity is absolutely encouraged to pray this prayer. Pope Benedict said, 
I would like to renew my call to everyone to pray the Psalms, to become accustomed to the Liturgy of the Hours. In the Archdiocese of Dubuque, if a parish does not have daily Mass, Liturgy of the Hours is then the preferred form of public prayer for that day. At St. Thomas Aquinas, we have evening prayer on Mondays at 5.30 in the chapel. You're very welcome to join us. Um, you can also find this prayer, at least for the time being, um, on our YouTube channel because we're live streaming it. If you have any questions about this wonderful, beautiful form of prayer, uh, please, please contact me. I would be happy to help. Until then, stay holy and healthy.